Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is Zach with Learn Cybersecurity, and welcome back to the channel. It's been a while. I apologize for that. We've obviously been very busy with our other channels. Make sure you check out IT Career Questions and Curious IT. Links are in the description for both of those. Today, we are talking about Event Viewer. If you are looking to learn cybersecurity, the Windows Event Viewer is something that you should be very familiar with. As you start diving deep into cybersecurity, you're going to hear of something called a SIM. It's actually S-I-E-M, but it's pronounced SIM by most security professionals. A SIM is a security information and event management system. Something that you would find in a SIM are event logs. Now you're going to see event logs from Windows-based systems, Linux-based systems, networking equipment, and maybe much more. However, in this specific video, we're just talking about the Windows Event Viewer because I want you guys to be familiar with this. So the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to load up our event viewer. So on a Windows computer, you could do this from uh, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, so forth, and on servers. So even server 2008, 2012, 2016, 2019, etc. This is a Windows feature. So we can go to our search area and type in event viewer. Now we should have a option for event viewer showing up. So we are just going to click on that. Now we have our screen maximized here. This is the same screen that you would see whether you're logged into a Windows 7 computer, Windows 8, Windows 10, etc. That list goes on, of course. You can see here from our summary, we have errors, we have warnings, uh, general information, audit, su audit successes, and audit failures. Now, what is important to note about this is this is a great way to troubleshoot different issues that you could be having in your environment. This is a great way to also make sure that you are keeping up to date on any security events or errors that could be happening within a system. You may find that you get a report from your SIM that says, this computer right here has had one error in the last hour. Let's go take a look at that event log in the SIM maybe and see what's going on. And of course within your SIM, it will show you information on that error. But you could also go onto that machine and look into that error a little bit further. So let's just briefly talk about some of the things that you would find within the Windows logs and how this could make sense to you moving forward. Under our Windows logs, we have application. Now here you're going to find any types of information or errors, warnings about different applications that are running within your computer. Here we have an error and our source says ESENT. It happened on May 2nd at 1149 p.m. Now what we could do is go ahead and pull up a Google tab, right? And, and we can look into this ESENT error. So we can look here, here's our error ESENT. We know what time it happened. Here are some general information that this that the event viewer will display for you. So we can see that uh, this occurred while opening log file in this location. See Windows System 32 config system profile app data, etc., etc., etc. Now we have this information. So what we could do again, pull up our browser. We could put ESENT error Windows 10 and do edb.log because we know that this has to do with this log file that we have listed here. So we have some results on how to fix this and we have really good general information. We have what is an EDB log? So in short, here, here's what an EDB log is. So is this an error that we need to fix? Well, we'd have to look into this a little bit further. We're not gonna do this for this video, but we're giving you guys the tools and the information to understand it. Here are multiple ESENT errors. So for me, this might be something I want to look into a little bit further and see if it's something that we need to fix. Now we can keep scrolling through our list. Obviously you can see we have a lot of ESENT errors. Here's a warning, however. Uh, here we go, the general information about it says, unable to open the job object, base name objects, uh, WMI, etc., etc., for query access. The calling process may not have permission to open this job. The first four bytes D word of the data section contains the status code. So what we could do, is of course go back to Google and this is a uh, perf proc warning and we can put in Windows 10 because that's our operating system. How to fix issues with uh, perf proc.dll. 
uh, per proc windows event viewer errors now of course what we could do is make sure that we visit some of these microsoft websites first and see if we can get in more information about that but of course there's a lot of great resources out there to provide more information on what's going on so again these are just general application errors and obviously i need to look into this eSend thing i imagine it's not something too crazy since it's happening all the time and i'm not noticing anything so again something that we could look into further maybe there's something there but of course if you guys have other types of errors within applications or other warnings within applications that are maybe specific to an environment that you're in or specific to an application that you are frequently using that could be of some concern we definitely want to check into that further we definitely want to make sure that we know where to access this and get as much information from it as we can and event viewer is a great place to start so the next thing that we're going to do is go ahead and go under security now this is something great to know on any windows based computer because it's going to show you any failures and any successes so this basically shows you anytime somebody has successfully logged into a computer and anytime somebody failed to log into a computer and this could be because it's a bad username or a bad password or even both so what we're going to do is go ahead and look at an audit failure from earlier tonight and we could say the failure reason and we can see that the failure reason is unknown username or bad password. So again, that's great information. This is something that you would be able to see on any Windows-based server as well. This is very important to take note of. This is a great way to see if anybody is trying to maliciously access your network. You know, it's obviously going to show you how many times they failed to log in. It's going to be a, maybe a little bit different view on a Windows server, but it's still kind of the same theory here. We're understanding who's logging in, what times they're logging in, if they've had errors logging in. It's a great resource for you to just, again, keep note of and understand. Our setup tab isn't anything that I necessarily will worry about and I'm not gonna talk about in this video. So we're gonna skip right over to system. Again, within our system tab here, it's gonna show us many different events um, of things that maybe happened or just general information about them. But you can see that we have warnings, we have errors, this is related to VirtualBox, so that's something I may want to look into. Uh, warnings from uh, from here, the machine de default permission settings do not grant local activation permission for the COM server application with CLSID and app ID. We could actually Google this information as well to understand more about it. And again, like I keep saying, this is just a great way to really know and understand where you can find some events that are happening on your system and whether these events are crucial to maybe a security issue or just troubleshooting any type of problem that a computer could be having. This is a great resource that not many techs or help desk people utilize and they can really get a lot of information here. Uh, this would be one of the steps that I would take if I were troubleshooting any type of issue where it's going on for a long amount of time. Say I've tried you know, XYZ to resolve this issue and those didn't work. Well, then I could start looking at the event viewer and see if there's anything happening there. Uh, it's just part of a normal troubleshooting process that you'll find working in the IT field. And again, this is just another great uh, resource that gets imported into your SIM, but you can access this from any computer. So I hope this kind of helps. I know it's been a long time since we put out a video, but I just want to kind of put out basic information that you guys should kind of be aware of and understand. This is all about learning cybersecurity. Well, part of learning cybersecurity is also learning about the different features and services programs, applications, and just general know-how of different operating systems. So we're breaking down Windows 10 and Windows Server by talking about Event Viewer. Check out the Curious IT channel where I talked about the Task Manager and what you can understand about the different processes there because that information would be really helpful for somebody who's learning cybersecurity as well. The Task Manager is one of those valuable resources uh, that every tech every single IT professional should know. So make sure you guys check out that video. There's a link in the description. Hopefully I put something up for that as well. That's how we got in today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, take it easy.